How do we go into the future now? What's ahead? That's a question that we as women and every young person asks right now because the future seems dark and uncertain. But let me tell you, I have lived long enough to know that it is not the first time. Many times before I have gone through very dark periods, personally and also historically, because I have lived through historical events that were pretty dark. Um, I have felt as a young woman since I was very young, never supported, never respected. Um, it was not, I was not supposed to be anything but a mother and a wife, which are great things, but I wanted to do more with my life. And it was not important in my family or in the time that I was born for a woman, for a young girl to have an education. So I struggled and then I got different jobs. Eventually I was a journalist for a while. And then I was, al I was already married with two children. We had a military coup in Chile. You have no idea what a military coup can be. It's the end of democracy as you know it, of freedom, of the world you know. And something else happens, something else begins, which in our case was a brutal repression. Eventually, I had to get out of my country and I went into exile. You've heard about refugees, about asylum seekers, about immigrants. Well, I've been all of that. And let me tell you, it's not easy, but you get through it somehow. We don't know how strong we are until we are tested. And you as young girls will be tested innumerable times. And from each one of those tests, you come out stronger and you find in yourself resources that you didn't suspect. Now, how did I find my voice? I didn't have a voice. I didn't have anything. I was in my already 40 years old and I had done nothing with my life really. I was struggling to make a living. That was it. And then I found writing. I started a letter for my grandfather that became my first novel and that paved the way for all the books that I've written after. I've written 24 books uh, and each time each book is a terrible challenge. I, I spend weeks before I can find the voice, the characters, the story, but it doesn't matter. The process is what is wonderful. So what would I say to you? Don't be afraid of the future. Things happen all the time, but they don't happen all at the same time. So one by one, you sort, by one, you sort it out. It's like a huge mountain that you have to move across the road and you go stone by stone, rock by rock, and eventually it gets done. So that's life, the process, the road, nothing else.